I loved playing with Legos growing up, and that's something that I saw that I enjoyed it, knew that I wanted to do something within engineering, architecture. My name is Jose Aguilar, I'm a civil engineer for WSP, and I'm in Tucson, Arizona. Everything that you see in a city, a civil engineer has to design, has to think about, has to solve problems in a city. Anywhere from you know your roads to your airports to your running water, all of that has to do with civil engineering. So within civil engineering, there are a lot of different career paths that you can take. So you have to think about your foundations. So you have your geotech engineers. Uh, you have to think about the structures and the beams. You know that's your structural engineer. You also have your water engineers and they look at how water runs through a city and so they look at that so you have your hydrology engineers and they're all different parts of civil engineering so you go to school you become a civil engineer and then you get to specialize in what you want to do. I am here at the Tucson International Airport and what we are doing is we have a program of different projects that will basically redo the entire airfield. So I design every road that you drive on and then also the, the runway and the taxiways that we have to design to get the vehicles going through. So airports is like a tiny little city. You know, you have your restaurants, you have your terminal, you have all of your vehicles, you have your baggage claims. So it's a whole circuit of things that have to all work together so that you can come in, quickly get through TSA, and then get to your destination. So it's a lot of things that go into the design of an airport. Everything has to you know, be designed and thought about. There are a lot of problems that we face day to day. Each project that I face is a different problem, so you have to use all your knowledge to be able to come up with a product that you know helps the people that use the product, and you do have to be creative in how you do that. You have to collaborate and communicate with everybody that is involved with the project. There are more than one person involved because you know ultimately you want to make sure that what you produce is, is useful and it, it helps everybody that uses the project and so you do have to collaborate and communicate that to whoever is using your facility. I'm really into high tech and what's the next thing and then I started using that critical thinking about how can we use drones for civil engineering and there's a lot of uses some of them will take a look at an intersection we will take a look at parking lot spaces and then just using it for photography, making sure that it's going well along the construction process. I love my job. It's something that, you know, I see the impact that it has on my community. When I walk into work and I see all the people flying in and out, you know, it's something that I helped get that to become a reality. It's just uh, exciting to know that you are making a powerful impact on your city. In school, if you're thinking about civil engineering, make sure that you have a good foundation in math. If you don't get something, you know, ask questions. It's okay to ask for help. And that's something that I learned when I was in college. You know, I went and got a tutor and made sure that I understood math. And you don't have to love it. You can just understand it and move on. It's something that if you like science, if you like math, this is a great field for you. <laughs>